Welcome. In this video, we are going to review one of the unique features of My Curator, training the relevance engine to find the best articles for your curation. This powerful tool will save you hours per day discovering content. In previous videos, you set up sources and topics, so My Curator should be scouring the web every few hours looking for articles that match your topics. As it finds articles that meet your criteria, it posts them to a training page, which keeps them off of your live blog. You can also use our Get It tool to post articles here as you find them while browsing the web. You can view the articles found on your training page that you set up here on the My Curator homepage or on the Training Post menu item in the dashboard. We'll start with your training page by clicking on the link to My Curator training page on your site over here in the Important Links column. On the training page, you'll see all the articles found by My Curator so far in a blog format. The articles will be classified as good, bad, or not sure. At the top, you can select specific topics to view. You can also select the classification you want to view. The clear button brings back everything. As you browse through the articles, you'll notice the green thumbs up and red thumbs down. These are the training keys. The other keys, such as trash, make live, are used mainly for curation, which we'll go over in detail in our curation video. Just click the green thumbs up to tell My Curator to find more of these types of articles. Click the red thumbs down to tell it that you don't like this type of article. It will also be removed from the training page. My Curator will use your feedback and get better at classifying the articles it finds. After training 10 or 20 articles, you should see that My Curator becomes very accurate at classifying what is good and bad. To help you decide on whether you like an article, just click on its title and a nice readable page of the text extracted from the website pops up. You can also click the original article link and a new tab will hold the article's web page. The quick tab also pops up the readable page and lets you add some notes and comments and publish to your site or just make it a draft post. Let's go back to the training posts list table in your admin area. You will see all the same elements from the training page just in a list table format, just like posts. You can still train articles here with the training tags. You can also bulk train by checking multiple articles and choosing train good or train bad. But you don't have to use an article for training. You can just delete it or make it live or curate it too. Once you're satisfied that my curator is classifying articles well, you can just select and review the good articles most days, then maybe review the not sure and bad ones once a week or so just to keep up with articles that might have been misclassified. Another feature is to use the auto post capability when articles are being well classified. If you go to topics, you can choose a topic status of auto post good. With this status, my curator will post all articles that are classified as good directly to your live blog. This can be great for news or trends type categories to give your community or clients a go-to site for your niche. It won't have any of your comments or ideas, so it typically won't help your SEO as much as manually curating with your own writing. You can also turn off the training feature altogether for a topic by choosing the filter type for the topic. At the bottom of the topic page, you will see how many good and bad articles have been trained for this topic. If you skew towards more good articles, it will bias my curator to classify an article as good. Similarly, more bad articles will bias it the other way. You can use this to increase or decrease the flow of good articles for your topic. Make sure you view our, view our curation and multi-curation videos to learn more about the powerful curation features of my curator. Thank you.